Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com and today we've got a hot Photoshop tutorial. This one is really cool. It's five hot tips and tricks here in Photoshop. I think you're really going to like it. It's going to be a fast, hard-hitting tutorial if you enjoy this video and you want to see other Photoshop tutorials, well, just make sure you subscribe to the channel below. It's really quite easy. And if you really enjoy the tutorial, well, you can support the channel by picking up my Photoshop course all about how to retouch images. There's a link if you hit that little circular icon with the letter I in it up there in the top corner of the video up there. There's also a link down in the bio of this video, but I don't want to keep you here too long. Let's get this tutorial started. So here we are. And this, of course, beckons the, uh, the age old question. Is it the face of fart or the face of art? One well or ill placed apostrophe, and we don't really know now, do we? We're going to do a couple things here. First and foremost, and the first thing I want to show you is the hidden banana tool. So if you come over here to this edit toolbar icon, you select that and you click and hold and choose to edit your toolbar. You can do whatever you want in here, but when you decide that you're finished and you hit done, hold down the shift key as you hit done and you get the little banana. There are so many people that ask me how I get the banana, and I just like it because it's a nice just bit of yellow color in an otherwise very gray and maybe drab Photoshop UI. If you hate the banana, no worries. Just right click, choose edit toolbar, and hold down your alt or option key, hit the done button, and you're back to the real deal default dot dot dot. Now next up, and this is a really cool trick that I don't know how many of you know about this, but let's say we wanted to create this spinning design with this face of fart bit of text. Well, let's duplicate the text right off the bat. Command or Control J to duplicate that text, right? And then we would go edit, free transform, to free transform it. And maybe we want there to be about 10 pieces of text or so, it would really be like 11. Uh, but let's uh, set the angle here to 18 degrees. So over the course of 10 copies, it rotates about 180 degrees. We'll go ahead and hit the check icon. Well, now we would have to do that over and over and over again, right? Well, wrong. There's a hotkey. It is the duplicate layer while repeating the last transform hotkey, a very unknown hotkey in Photoshop. It is control shift alt or command shift option and the letter T. And look at that. It duplicates the layer and applies the same transform until I have this perfect spinning effect from my text. Oh, what a beautiful thing that is. Now, that brings us right over to the third tip or trick. You see how as I copy these layers, we get the face of art copy nine and eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's pretty annoying, right? Uh, let's just uh, go to our history panel here and get rid of and step back to just the regular, actually not even free transform. Let's go back to just saving the document here. Uh, what if we don't want that copy? Well, you can come up here and click on this little flyout menu here for the layers panel. Come down here to panel options, select that. And all you need to do is uncheck add copy to copy layers and groups. And I personally like to keep that off almost all the time. So we can go ahead, command or control J, look at that, just face of art. Go ahead and just set that to 18 degrees, great. And then we can just duplicate it over and over and over and over and over. And you can see that all of our text layers just look normal. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna select these top text layers here and just get rid of them because that's a little obscene and just, you know, too in your face for this. Now, what if we want to place a lens flare directly on sort of the bridge of these colored jewel, jewel encrusted glasses she's wearing? We want our lens flare to appear right there or originate from right there. Well, we want to go window and open up our info panel first and foremost, which I've got right here. Now, I'm going to drag this over here. You'll notice we have this X and Y option here in the info panel. And that X and Y option changes depending on where I am on my image. So if I hover over that bridge of the sunglasses, I can see about 2760 by 370 or so, maybe 27, 2750 by 365 is where the X and Y coordinates are, right? We can just round them up or down. So 2750 by 365. Now I'm gonna select this lens flare layer and all it is is a black layer set to the blend mode screen. So it's gonna drop away any black and only show white. Our lens flare will be white. So guess what's gonna happen? We're just gonna see our lens flare and not all the black. What was the, uh, I forget the X and Y already. This is how the short term memory loss happens, right? 2750 by 375 or 365, 2750 by 365. All right, then we'll go filter, render and choose lens flare. And all I need to do is hold down alter option and click anywhere in this lens flare thumbnail, alter option. And I'm gonna go 2750 by 365. I'm gonna choose okay. It's gonna place that lens flare right where I want it to be. And then I can choose the brightness or the type of lens flare, whatever I want, hit OK. And you're going to see there's a perfectly placed lens flare right where we want it to be. And this, of course, brings us to the last of the five hot, hot, hot tips or tricks here in Photoshop. And that is going to be merging only selected layers to a new layer. 
So the first thing you want to do is make sure that if the background layer is involved, you want to unbackgroundify or unlock the background layer. And the background layer will be involved because let's say somebody's looking at this, maybe it's a piece of album artwork and they say, oh, I love that design. Can I have the image but without the text? And an easy way to just go and export this, and, and this is a very simple example. Of course, you could just shut off the text layer. But let's say there was a bunch of text and it was very intricate and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you could just select the layers with the artwork and all these adjustment layers and whatnot, lens flare included, and and export or bounce those up to a new layer and save that layer out. So the first thing you want to do is since we're selecting the background layer, you need to make sure you unlock the background layer. So just double click the background layer to make a new layer out of it. Great. If you don't do that, well, let's just say you will do what's called stamping the layers and it's a little bit different than what we want to do here. So with an unlocked background layer, we can just hold down shift, to select all of our layers and I'll just deselect the face of art. And with these layers selected, I can then hold down my command option or control alt and hit the letter E and it will take just those selected layers, as you can see here, and merge them up to their own layer and the text disappeared because this new layer is covering it up. But I could take this layer quickly and just right click and choose to export as and just export this single layer out of my PSD as an image to a client or whoever that uh, fan was that said, oh, I really love this artwork that you created or so on uh, or so forth. So those are five really cool, really quick, hot, hot, hot. Tips and tricks of Photoshop. Uh, and why are they hot? Well, probably just because I said so. But I sure hope you enjoyed them. Maybe you'll find them useful. Uh, they are features, especially that merge just the selected layers. I use that so often. I cannot even tell you how often I use that. It's really incredible. And I always have the banana in my user interface, as anyone who watches tutorials on this channel will be able to attest to. So for these five different tips and tricks in Photoshop, and oh, by the way, follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's at tutvid. Uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff and graphic design. I try to get some good behind the scenes stuff, uh, throw it up on the stories over there. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, so at tutvid, follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Uh, for these five different tips and tricks in Photoshop, that's it. Get it, got it, good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.